Anna Orotho is a widow and mother of seven children. She used to live in this grass-thatched hut. She's now living in this semi-permanent house, but hopes to move soon into a permanent house now under construction. To improve on her income, Anna has constructed business premises in which she has started a seed retail shop. Anna is a member of the Agia March Ojebu Women's Group for Development in Zombo District. Agia March Ojebu Farmers Group is one of the 30 local seed business groups, LSBs, supported under the Integrated Seed Sector Development, ISSD project, funded by the Kingdom of the Netherlands and implemented jointly by the Wageningen University and the National Agriculture Research Organization, NARO, under the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries. This project targets the intermediate seed systems, which is basically a combination of the informal seed systems whereby farmers produce seed and the formal seed systems which focus on uh, marketing and selling good quality seed. So local seed businesses are in between the formal and the informal seed systems. The local seed businesses comprise groups of 20 to 30 active farmers each spread across 25 districts. They are supported by the project through the narrow centers at Ngeta Zadi for Northern Uganda, Mbarara Zadi in Western Uganda and Abi Zadi for West Nile region. The local seed businesses have been supported to produce quality declared seeds for mainly self-pollinating food security crops including beans, sesame, soya beans, pigeon peas, cow peas, groundnuts, cassava, millet and pasture. ISSD support to the local seed businesses focused on getting them technically equipped, professionally organized, market oriented and strategically linked. Technical support to the local seed businesses included training in seed production technology and processing. We covered a lot of things and that's why we can now do things on our own. Planting, doing anything, producing any type of seed, we can do it without any supervision. The Zono Agriculture Research and Development Institutes serve as centers of continuous technical support to local seed businesses through the establishment of demonstration gardens. The different stakeholders are trained, especially regarding the agronomy. A good, good crop, good, good seed source, if you manage well, you get good yield and better returns financially. Training of the local seed businesses included proper handling and harvesting of seed in the garden and processing it to ensure seed quality is maintained. The training requires that the LSB, individual farmers in their households, try and do the proper sorting. We are producing pasture seeds which we are, we are enabling farmers to access at reasonable cost so that they go and improve on their dairy production, improve on the rangeland. With us here, we are very lucky in that we are producing for already existing market. I'm mixing all these regimes, all these improved pasture types for increasing productivity of my milk. This is what I harvested and I think during the dry season I'll be the luckiest and the happiest farmer. Mm -hmm. The local seed business groups were supported to develop as professional organizations with the necessary structures to ensure they foster the commercial interests of their members sustainably. Each group has a production committee to plan the required quantities and share out production quarters among members. Each group also has a quality control committee which ensures that all principles and practices in seed production are adhered to strictly. ISSD supported them address their most urgent challenges. In northern Uganda, where people are still resettling after decades of conflict, the local seed businesses chose to purchase oxen and plows to open new lands and increase seed production. Many of the local seed businesses chose to construct storage facilities. 
the local seed businesses have been structured to be market-oriented, spearheaded by their marketing committees. We train them on marketing. And the starting point in the seed business is first of all coming up with a clear marketing plan. We give them tools so now they can carry local market intelligence to know which crops, which varieties are, have local market demand. As part of their marketing strategy, the local seed businesses organize annual field days during which the various stakeholders, including farmers from their neighborhood, visit their gardens and see for themselves the performance of the various seed varieties and the recommended agronomic practices that result in good yields. All farmer groups also have demonstration gardens that can be accessed by farmers at any time to see how the different seed varieties perform under different conditions. Many of the small farmers, like Ezekiel Etima, who have used seeds from the local seed businesses, have realized higher yields and now want to continue buying them. <laughs> Periodically, seed sector stakeholders in the different regions are facilitated to meet and discuss challenges and strategies for production and use of quality declared seed in their regions. In the West Nile region, seed sector stakeholders are supported to fight against counterfeit seeds by mobilizing the district councils of Arua and Koboko to pass policies and resolutions on seed quality and criminalizing distribution of counterfeit seeds. We are able to use this document with the police and the district agriculture officer to enforce. We do what we call inspection because we are trained by ICSD to carry inspection. So when we go around, we curb them. The new legal framework made it possible for the production department in Komboko district to reject a consignment of counterfeit seeds procured under the NADS program. In western Uganda, seed sector stakeholders chose to promote increased awareness about benefits of good quality seed and use of recommended agronomic practices by establishing demonstration gardens near places of worship. We have established eight demonstration sites on eight religious institutions. Every Sunday after prayers, farmers come to the site and learn. We are reaching many farmers now than before. The local seed businesses have also been linked to seed breeders who supply foundation seed to both the seed companies, which produce certified seed, and the LSBs, which produce quality declared seed, which are sold to farmers for higher productivity. I was convinced that this group, if trained well and monitored well, they can actually produce seed. So I ended up giving them the breeder seed. And they produce very nice seed, very well in their own setting. And I felt happy because now that um, those farmers are in my database as research farmers. The local seed businesses have also been linked to the Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, providing quality assurance for the seeds produced by the local seed businesses to gain wider recognition among seed users nationally. We issue what we call a certification label. This certification label is designed to differentiate it from the certification level label that we use for the formal seed sector. Producing seed has had a fundamental change in the lives of many local seed business members and their families. Homesteads have been transformed and livelihoods improved through better housing and increased household income. The focus now is to increase the number of local seed businesses to avail more quality certified seed to farmers for higher productivity. We are to expand uh, from the 30 local seed businesses to 100 new local seed businesses. But this we are not doing directly. We are doing through partnerships with other organizations that share the same objectives of producing high quality seed. Amwe tarayo,
Amwe tarayo. Ai wa nyiri baru amwa. Amwe tarayo.